Just a second to gather around. Tell me when you guys are here. I feel somebody's here. Who's here? See if they can put us up for the night. Knock, knock. Don't you hear me, Ale? Come on, you put us up for the night. I got a list today. So I got some <laughs> stuff I want to talk about. <laughs> okay. So, um, my notes for today. <laughs> I want to talk about first and foremost, um, Liza's shop. Now, if anybody watches this channel regularly, you know about Liza's shop. You can go back to the you can go back to the past videos, Serenity Tan. There was one in the last year, and there's one from this year. She has moved out of the building that she was in last year. And we did an investigation at the old location, which was 63 Main Street. And I made the mistake, I, well I didn't make a mistake, it, I do believe still that it was a hotel at one time. I'm not sure of the year, but um, we pulled a couple names out of there, and one of the main names that we pulled out of there was Sam. And I thought Sam was the owner of the hotel when it was a hotel. And hopefully Sam can come forward today. It's powerful 2000 BC engine. And if, like I said, if you've been following, you know Sam's a pretty good spirit. And he's helped out a few times. He came forward that night during the investigation. Along with Carl, who was a pharmacist. Now... When you do these sessions and you do those investigations, you never really, really know about, you know, the things that you're picking up. Even with a psychic, they still need the confirmation too because sometimes they're unsure of what they're getting. But um, yesterday, my girlfriend found this postcard and it was um, a picture of a place called Buggies and harnesses on 63 Main Street. In the middle, in the middle of buggies and harness is the name Sam Watt. And there's a picture of Sam standing down at the bottom. And I'll I'll have to post this picture up for you in a, in a moment. But that's Liza's building. That's her that's her old building. So that's kind of chilling, huh? <laughs> Sam, are you here? Mr. Sam Watt. Sam, are you the same Sam that we've been talking to for over a year? Mr. Sam Watt, are you the one that's been helping us out for over the past year? So I apologize, I was a little messed up there. I thought that you were the owner of the hotel, but I can see now that I was wrong. <laughs> 
And uh, Sam, Sam followed Liza from that 63 Main Street over to her, her new location on Bank Street. I'm sure he still hangs out because this was his place. But it's nice to know that, you know, it's nice to know that he's hanging around. And um, I went with a girl, well I didn't go with her, but um, in school her name was, uh, I'm not going to give away her name either, but her last name was Watt. <laughs> and uh, we have Watt Farms that is down the, down the, uh, the road about a mile, mile and a half. Sam, are you related to that family? <laughs> so that was really, really interesting. Very cool. I think that's pretty much confirmation. If there was any to be had, that's 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 pretty good. So another thing, last night I heard a bunch of whistling at the house. Who could that have been? <laughs> Jasper, were you whistling at the house last night? No, you. And I also had a pretty, pretty vivid dream last night where I had a long conversation with Jasper. So to hear him whistling and then to have that dream, I would say there was something there with that too. I can't remember it, but I know that we had a pretty pretty long conversation. <laughs> Jasper, did you come to me last night in a dream? Jasper, do we have a conversation last night? Could have been a dream, could have been real, who knows? Uh, another thing, if you... Who's over here to my left? Who's over here to my left? Can you tell me? The U.S. government official. And over 20. All right. So that's it. A couple other things. Um, I'm building a new radio for a L.A. producer for a movie. This is the British company. I don't know if it's a budget movie or a high budget movie. I'm just kind of happy that someone called me to build them a radio. It's a non working radio. It's just going to light up and do all the things that it's supposed to do for this movie where these investigators use a box. And the box is supposed to be the main thing of the movie. So, as soon as I know, I'll let everybody else know so they can check it out. That's kind of cool. It doesn't happen every day. Well, it did happen once before. There was a lady who called me and wanted a radio for uh, a TV series, and I pissed her off because I talked about her uh, her good friends, uh, Mr. Steve Huff and George Brown. Oh well. <laughs> um, and we've got the investigation coming up next week for 39 Problems, which was the Undertaker building, which is next to Sam's building. So, that'll be interesting. We'll see what we get. And that's it, you guys. I got nothing else. Sam, thank you for coming through if you did. Jasper, Lewis, thank you guys for coming through if you did.